down a game like this. But you know it's going to be tight. So Glennon launches one forward. Lovely flick on by Holmes. Howley gets one onto it. Lumsden. And what a strike! It's a beautiful finish. And that's Chris Lumsden. Oh, an absolute peak to the finish, Ricky. A superb finish. Uh, slight bit of fortune there, wasn't there? Because uh, uh, the missed kick came, uh, funnily enough, from uh, from uh, Kevin um, Terry Holmes. But uh, but Lumsden's taken that beautifully. Curl that one in from the edge of the area. Superb strike. Well, that's just what this game needed. A, a moment of sheer inspiration. A lovely finish from Lumsden. And with just over 10 minutes played here at Park Lane, Carlisle United now lead Canvey Island by one goal to nil. Acrobatics there from Burquez. This can be look a little more determined about their play now. Neatly out though by Beharol. And Burton will have to bring the ball back. Free kick to Canby. Quickly taken. Minton now. Inside to Boylan. Good movement. Out wide is Midgley here. This could be dangerous. Sweet ball in. And Boylan not far away with the header. Well, he's the lad they'll be looking for, Lee Boylan. I mean, he's managed to score 12 goals this season uh, in a side that struggled for most of the season and, uh, and play the ball on the ground. Lumsden will swing this one across. Holmes is in there and that's two. Well, what a lovely finish. Superb finish there. He got across the back four there and got right in front of David Theobald, flicked it in the back of the net. Well, Derek Holmes front post, surely that's a training ground move, move for Carlisle and they've got what they wanted, the second goal before half time and it's the man from Bournemouth, Derek Holmes, who's uh, given them that two goal cushion now and the Candy fans are not looking happy. Waste of energy, he had time there to stop. He's a 30 something, Tom Calm will allow him that. Here's Murray. Great challenge there from Berquez. Now then Arneson down and this is dangerous. Yes, it's red for Berquez. His touch let him down and then his, uh, his tackle certainly let him down, Ricky. Well, the referee absolutely no hesitation there and uh, he was well placed to see. I mean, it does look bad from here. It's one of those, one of those tackles you said, Alan, he let the ball go, his control let him down. And so often, when that happens, the player and his anxiety to get the ball back, he shows the studs, and that's what he's done. And you can't do it. The rules say it's a straight red card, and that's what he's got. With the first header, Minton with the second. But the head tennis continues, and Carlisle keep possession. Gray will be the last man again. Well, sunshine ball there from Theobald. That's Howley skips away. Oh my goodness. Now then, now then. Howley skips away from Potter and then goes down. And the referee must make a very major decision here. What do you think of this one, Ricky? Well, Alan, I wouldn't have wanted to be the referee in that position. I mean, I have to say there, I was thinking to, in the split second when he went down, who is this down to? Certainly, there, there was certainly no. Oh, well, he's just nine away men. Of, oh, um, dear. Carlisle, Danny Potter, the ever present goalkeeper this season, is off, and Carlisle have a penalty, and Canvey can't have a goalkeeper. I was wondering about that, whether he was going to give it against Howley, but uh, clearly. Mr. Deadman's decision has been made and uh, Carlisle United have an opportunity to really put this game to bed at half time now because Candy will be down to nine men. It's Chris Lumsden and it's Ashley Harrison, the substitute goalkeeper.
facing Chris Lumsden. It's three, it's simple, and Carlisle surely looking for the points. Now, what's the referee given here? The Carlisle players are claiming the goal. Well, controversy at well, Park Lane, Ricky. Well, that is unbelievable. That's a, oh no, he's given a goal. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think, I think the, 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 <laughs> the ball went in the net from Chris Lonsden. It bounced off the, uh, the advertising board, the boardings that came out. Yeah. I think the referee then didn't give the goal, but uh, has now changed his mind. Let's just put this one right. It's Candy Nil, it's Carlisle 3. Three shake themselves there, Ricky. Well, we're very, very difficult now with nine men. Um, just trying to see who's gone off. I think, uh, is, it, is it Steve Ward that's gone off? Because they've really, really got to stop the goals mounting against them. And, it, it, you know, having said... Here's Howley, not a bad yeah. effort, into the side netting. Here he's again, quite influential, this young fella from Oldham. And here's the man from Mansfield, Murray. Decent debut for him. It's uh, very much keep ball now for Carlisle as they whirring down Canvey Island. Sterling sees the ball out, but uh, as you say, Canvey have got to go to Barnet yeah. on Monday and the runaway champions elect. Yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's not the best place for them to try and pick up their confidence. Well, a decent effort from Howley. He's won another corner, probably going wide anyway. I mean, it's run into the end of the season now, Canvey. I mean, they, they, yeah, they remain seven points clear of the uh, of Forest Green, who are third from bottom. But um, you know, you never know; these sides will, will be battling, and you know they don't want to slip into that uh, into that bottom three. No, they, they've probably done enough, Canvey Island, the seven points, but uh, they don't want to go any further, lose any further ground, get sucked into that. Is Holmes? Oh. What a good effort yeah. from the big man! And not far away, again, Ashley Harrison, fingers stung with that one. Halfway now through this second half. The junior McDougall has come on for uh, Lee Boylan. Uh, this is the lad, of course, that uh, hit the headlines a few years ago with Dagenham. And a former Tottenham player as well. Of course, uh, fine acquisition, but Canvey Island now here, undone, and Murray is through on goal. This is Murray with a delicate oh. chip and a sweetest move of the game. But uh, the crossbar saving Canvey Island. But uh, the applause for Adam Murray's tenacity and uh, the Super. delicate chip there. Super the chip. Goal. Super chip was at Ala Cantona. I thought that was in. That was a super chip. Actually, I thought he was going to whack it first time. And of course, he's got so much time. Hackney, decent delivery. Henderson in there. Out jumped by Ward. But Arneson lines one up. He's got Murray and Acres of space ahead of him. Got a good ball in there. Diagonally across the face of the goal. Adam Murray. A great acquisition. And he's had a reasonable debut, uh, Ricky. Yeah, he's come into his own second half, obviously. All right, you can say that anyone can play well against nine men. But that, uh, what he's, some, of the, some of the quality he's shown second half has stamped him as a very good player. I mean, that was a great cross there. Um, and Paul Simpson electing to give him the last, what will be the last 10 minutes of this game here at Park Lane, Canvey Island. Well, a sweet pass from Murray. He's put Henderson in, and Henderson couldn't just get the ball from under his feet. And again, Ashley Harrison comes to the rescue of Canvey Island.